Welcome back to episode four of Sealed for Good. We're going to talk about something that's been an integral part of the Gripset systems for now almost 13, 14 years, uh, and that's our Laster proof range. Many of our customers know this very, very well, but for those of you that don't, I'm going to introduce you to it. So, having come from the background of waterproofing, where in the old day, before we went from sheet and then we had liquid systems that were reinforced with fiberglass. Then we used reinforcing fabrics. What we found obviously was that you'd use a flexible membrane, an elastomeric liquid membrane, and as soon as you wet it out into a fiber, you lose all those elastomeric properties, which defeats the purpose of it. And at the junctions where you use fiber reinforcement, like a wall floor junction or a, a movement, a control joint, um, you end up with a situation where that's where the most stress is on the membrane and that whether that's an internal wet area or an external wet area. So over the years we would see failures where fiberglass would break with a membrane in it or fibres would break if there was no give and you need, a, you need both high strength and elastomeric properties at those jun joints and junctions. And so the elastoproof range is a rupture resistant bond breaker but it's more than just a bond break, it's actually a waterproof joint band. So the way we make it there's rubber inside that and we have a reinforcing fabric and this type of fabric we have basically is uh, welded into the rubber or vulcanised into the rubber in the production process and as you can see that what we call that free zone there that is actually applied into side as you can see in that photo now coming up on your screen it gets wetted into our liquid membrane and what happens is that creates the bond breaker and it takes care of the most critical joint in a wet area or waterproofing application, making it waterproof as well at the same time. And it's instant, it's already waterproof. And then from there, we can incorporate all our systems, whether it be our external liquid membranes, our membranes for immersed areas, we use some pools and water tanks, underground areas like retaining walls, planter boxes, or even with our GC system, which I mentioned in the last episode. So the elastoproof joint band is a critical part of our uh, systems and we use it across everything we do. To make life easy at important corners like internal corners, uh, I'm sure many of our applicators have been spending time in the past where you put silicons or sealants in those joints, you then try and wet in fabrics and you end up with a nice chunky joint which doesn't help the after trade like a tiler. So we have the joint band that's actually formed into a prefabricated corner and that is the same elastic rupture resistant rubber joint band and that gets wetted into the corner and then basically as you can see from the photo again the joint band is overlapping that corner and it's real simple it gets wetted into the membrane of choice that we're using in the application and we have the external 270 degree ones for columns things that uh, are often um, very complex to seal around and can be problem areas particularly on balconies podiums and decks because that's where you end up having water sitting around those sorts of features. So a really simple system, very, very quick to apply, and they are sold in cartons of 10 or 50, or you can buy them in singles from our distributors, but very simple to go with. The other part of the elastoproof range are our collars. So um, over the years, when you look at where the problems lie in the industry, they are either at a joint or a junction or at a penetration, and penetrations are still a problem. So when you've got a pipe coming out the ground, or a wall, or a floor, in the past, and still what happens sometimes, you'll see that they're just bogged up with sealant. And that may do the job, but they're not rupture resistant, the sealants, or the seal from a sealant. Because what can happen is if the pipe is moved around for whatever reason, um, that seal can break. So we developed the elastic collars, which are basically we have a target on them, which I'll explain why the target diagram, but there's a free zone in there that we can cut and slide that over pipes, and we have these in various sizes. We have the small, we have medium, and we have larger ones as well for larger pipes. But I'm going to demonstrate to you how this is used now, which is really, really simple. So we've got a standard 78 mil pipe. We would use our medium sized collar, and so I work out sort of the hole that that's my target, and I don't cut the diameter of the pipe in the rubber. I actually go around about 60 to 70% of the diameter 
because it'll stretch over it. So the reason we have these circles is for guys like me that are fairly simple and can't measure out too well. I just can cut and fold like so. So I've cut that measured line. forming a perfect circle which now is as I said before about 60 to 70 percent of the done of the pipe and I slide that over the pipe like so and you can see that that tight elastic seal that gets slid down and gets wetted into the membrane and you'll see that photo on the screen now the shower mixer being done but as you can see here, that that now has formed a tight elastic seal around that pipe. And that is what we call rupture resistant. So if the pipe moves for whatever reason, whether it be substrate movement, even if this is a multi-story building and there's someone inside that ceiling cavity or a wall cavity and they move, move the pipe for whatever reason, it won't rupture the seal. And we've seen that many a time, good waterproof is waterproof areas. They flood tested, done the job properly, a year later we find a leak around a pipe and for whatever reason that's been the weak point and that's where the water obviously sits and creates a leak. So these collars have been fantastic uh, innovation for us and in the years we've had them and the clients that have used them never had a failure and I know that's a term that's used very very loosely in this industry but we live by that because when it's installed properly you can see that that, that seal, you can how tight that rubber is around that pipe. And if for whatever reason, if I actually want to just take that off, you can see that the rubber, unlike other products that don't have a memory, this has elastic recovery. And that's the key. So you've got a rupture resistant seal around the most critical area in areas that are waterproof and it's done and sorted. So the elastic proof collars are a big part of our range and um, we rely on those and in all our specifications for anything from a bathroom right through to a swimming pool or a water tank. I'm going to just touch on our butyl range as well because we do butyl products in our range and they are becoming more popular because of surfaces like Skyline in the market or Dinsel Plastics or areas where you've got sealed surfaces where you can't wet in with a, uh, a water-based membrane. So we have our butyl squares and these are used, we use these emphatically over puddle flanges. We're going to have a separate episode just on flanges and drains because that's a critical area so I won't go into that too much now. But we have the butyl flashing in a couple of sizes. We have 80 mil and we have 150 wide. We can even have the one meter wide uh, sheet. And the beauty of butyl, unlike bitumen, is that butyl um, has very, very high adhesion, high tack, but it doesn't bleed. So many of those that have used peel and stick bitumen membranes or flashings will know that when you use bitumen in the heat you get a sliding and a yellowing effect because the solvents are evaporating out and it gets to a point where too much heat bitumen starts to soften. The softening point of this is, is far higher so we're about minus 20 I think up to 90 degrees Celsius without any sort of uh, issues with this product. Same goes in the cold. When you've got cold climates, our friends in New Zealand where we sell lots of this um, with bitumens, you've got to put a special primer to get them to bond in cold climates. Um, with this product, there's no primer required on a sealed surface as long as it's clean. This will bond to glass, glazed surfaces, metals, stainless steel. And really simple, you peel the, the release paper off. Um, we're getting a lot of this now used in timber structures. And it's an instant seal. The rubber's flexible. It's not elastic like our elastic-proof joint band. It doesn't have the elastic recovery. It's designed differently. It still is waterproof. But this has very good rupture resistance and what the advantage of this is that it's, it's actually it's, its ability to handle vibration. So we get a lot of guys even using it on roofs for galvanised roofing, um, uh, clip lock roofs where they might be putting one of our external membranes on, they've got a seal of joint or an area that's been a bit dodgy up on a roof or even over penetrations. Box gutters this is ideal for, bonds directly to the junctions of box gutters and then you can put our Systems like our P39, our LS roof coat or Gripset RD over the top and works perfectly. And the fabric we've got on the facing allows all of our finishes to go directly over it or any cementitious system, a textured render, etc. So that is our elastic proof range in short. Um, 
as you can see, it's fairly emphatic. We've got a few other specialty products in the elastic proof range. We're going to run separate episodes on those later. But I think you can see the importance of this in the range, the ease of use of it. It, it is used everywhere with our range uh, for both our GC sheets and our liquids. If you need to inquire more about it, please get on board, call us or email, and we're happy to help you and guide you where you can buy it and how to use it. See you next time.